everyone. You back it up and stop and drop, drop, drop. All right, what's up, everybody? This is a drive through rural Mississippi. Highway 84, right? Apparently. Apparently, Highway 84 through the rural Mississippi. I want to show you guys how beautiful this is out here. The emptiness of it, the nothingness of it is so amazing. Just nothing. I love, I would love to have a house out here and just totally disconnect from the world. I mean, I would love to live out here just so that I could get away and just totally be away from everything. Who cares what's going on in DC or New York or anywhere? Imagine having a little acre or two up here surrounded by a thousand acres of wilderness where if you want to burn a fire pit burn a fire pit play my mexican music as loud as i want and not have to worry about what my neighbors think about it do whatever you want i would love to live out here i think we'd have to upgrade our vehicle women are so materialistic no it looks like some of these driveways get four by four. Oh yeah maybe so probably not it's red clay though maybe not I would love to live out here, man. Just big four-lane highway, house up on a hill, not a worry in the world. We're in Mississippi, uh, southern Mississippi, about to enter Alabama soon, so I just want to show you guys what the landscape looks like out here. It's very interesting. See that little cabin right there? That's the happiest person in the world right there. Just a little cabin like that. That's a new house too they just built on. They died of it, remodeled it, painted it. A little cabin out here with no neighbors for miles. Your next neighbor's five miles down the road. Not a worry in the world. You don't have to worry about people. Nothing. Just burn tar garbage. Shoot whatever you want. That mobile home right there. Here out in the woods. Uh, oh. We're in almost Alabama. Yes, Alabama. Alabama. Welcome, to Alabama. welcome to Alabama. Welcome to Alabama. Even the phone said welcome to Alabama, baby. Home oh, sweet home. And it just got ugly we're, all of a sudden. Don't say that. It's your home state. Besides, you're not even from here. You ain't got no right to say nothing. It this is, is pretty a, beautiful. This is pretty there. too. Yeah. This reminds me of North Florida. But it like changed. It totally changed. Yeah. It went from like open fields to more densely yeah. wooded. Totally changed. It sure did. And more populated. Yeah, more populated. I like the Mississippi side. Yeah. We drove through what, 40 miles of that? And it was beautiful. Amazing. It's like the most Look beautiful. at that old building. Look at that one. Yeah, man. This is sweet out here. Yeah, yeah. There's so much stuff there. See, this is more densely populated. I don't like this. I like the weird we're going through in Mississippi. Yeah. Where it was just nothing for miles and miles and miles. I'm gonna tell you guys my thoughts on Mississippi since we did it. I like it. Yeah. It's less trashy than Alabama. Uh -huh. People litter less. Um I think the economy is not as good for the most part. I think Alabama is economically more stable, but if you have an outside outside income source, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Um, I like it a lot. It's very clean, very. I mean, I mean it's not like uh, compared to other states. I mean, I, I like it. I like Mississippi a lot, and. I would probably not mind living in Mississippi. Not Meridian. Meridian is like... I have not like, begun to tell you how much I dislike Meridian. But the Jackson area was okay. Laurel was awesome. Um, I want to see more of Mississippi. And it could definitely be a, a home state in the future. In fact, our original plan was to move to Mississippi after we spent two years in Alabama. So... This is going to be a long journey for you guys to follow, but we're a quarter of the way there. We've been in Alabama for about six months now, so 
we're a quarter of the way to Mississippi. So two years seems like a long time, but if you look at it that we're 25% there, then it's not as much. Time flies. Next thing you guys know, we'll be deciding whether we're for moving or not. It took two years to sell a property in Florida. Yeah. Hopefully this one doesn't take as long. Yeah. This is more wooded. I don't like the wooded areas. I, I like the open fields like in Mississippi where it's open. This is more like wooded here. Yeah. It's sparsely populated, but it's also wooded. I, I like the... I like the open fields for some reason. I'm not sure why. Most people would probably say the woods are better. Yeah. We're on Highway 84 East. And this is just the middle of nowhere. But we're already in Alabama. That's a good sign. Yeah. We're heading home at 75 miles an hour. Katie will eventually be picking up the steering wheel here soon. So relax your eyes and rest. Once I finish getting this ready, I will get some rest. I dropped my juvenile track to turn on the camera for you guys. You a big fine girl, you back dang on. <laughs> that was on the radio. Yeah. There's not much to listen to on the radio out here. Right it's now either, I can tell it's Drake. The radio here, it says Drake, yeah. It's the game up. The radio out here sucks. Finally got a test message back. Probably a picture of my brother on a boat saying, It's 80 degrees in Florida. It's 70 here. Yeah, it's, it was actually decent today. This is January. I thought in January we would be like freezing cold and unbearable. The, the south is not really cold. Yeah. I'm, 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 yeah. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to miss the winter. Yeah. Because the cold weather makes you feel so good. It makes you feel like full yeah. of life and energized, man. The, the humidity drains you in Florida. Yeah, if it's a text, if your brother sent you a text message of him on a boat, you should be like, well, at least I can breathe up here. Yeah. yeah. Welcome to Silas. 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 Syphilis. <laughs> That's not how you pronounce it? No. No. We're not pronouncing diseases, Jose. You're not supposed to say the D word on YouTube. Every single video, you throw a word in there that demonetizes my videos. Bringing you with me on this trip has cost me at least $150. <laughs> Next time, I'm going to leave you at home. You demonetize every single one of my videos with your foul language and uncouth Is this a cop? In front of us? It could be. It's a white suburban. No, the plate. Oh, they're going 60, dude. I want to go like 80. I've always wanted a Mississippi driver's license. Does that come with a, with a pipe? <laughs> and a spoon? dinner for you. <laughs> wow, is that a fourth? Oh my gosh, that's an eagle. I haven't seen those cars in decades. You see stuff out here that you just like time forgot. You know what this reminds me of? North Florida. Like mm -hmm. Williston. You know? These cars are going slow. I'm going to try to pass them. What should be a cop? <laughs> If it's a cop, I'm going to try to pat. He's going to turn. He's turning. Is he? Yes. No. Uh, they're going 50 now. 45. Come on, man. I think this is a long... Speed ahead. Uh, please don't. We're going into a town. They don't know where they're going. They do. Right here, anyways. That looks like a cop, so I can tell you. Okay. I have to do this thing I don't want to do. Mm. Here's a dodge. 
That is a Dollar General. Oh man, they really do put these things way in the middle of nowhere. And there's always somebody like putting oil in their car at a Dollar General. You ever notice that? Like, there's always like somebody in the parking lot putting a little extra oil in their car. It's probably like the number one thing that Dollar General sells is like oil. Something about a historical road. We're in the middle of nowhere. This is absolutely the middle of nowhere. Okay. I just know that the last time I looked at it, it said 80 miles on this road, so it's quite the middle. Look, look at this shed right here. I would love one of these little. Grove Hill is 37 miles long. Think about the freedom of living out here, man. Like, just who cares about the world out here? You know? You wake up in a puddle of your own. You get it, right? <laughs> Just wake up, crawl over some bear cans out of your bed. Jose? Yeah. You need to stop. Why? What am I doing? I'm not allowed to dream of a wholesome lifestyle. Oh my gosh, no wonder it's not going. What's wrong? Okay, let's see if this does it now. You're trying to do the same thing you're trying to do like an hour ago? I'm trying to see how it be pointless. We're not going to get the same law here. No, no, no. This does nothing. Yeah, but like, at this point, you're not going to get the same law here, so it doesn't really matter. Okay. If you've ever wondered what it's like to be in the middle of nowhere, no, actually, we have perfect signals. Is really? At our house, we have, don't have good signals. Our area is frustrating. Mm -hmm. Not amazing. The Wahiro Sumatrawe Soasi. It's gotta be good right there. Whatever that store is, it's a pizza place. Steaks and seafood. Dude, it said pizza too, right? Mm -hmm. That combination. Those little country places will cook up the best things ever. That is where you get some good food right there. You know, little places like that. You can eat for like ten dollars a person. Yeah. You know. Look at the size of that house right there in the woods. They got the right idea. Free of freedom of purchase. I mean, it might just be like there's not enough memory to do it. If there isn't, don't worry. Are they both on my phone? I thought they were on this one. It work. Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Don't worry. It will work. Hold on. Some of these houses don't even have a driveway. You've seen like the driveways? Or just like a mud pit? You're right about needing a four by four out here. Two-wheel drive car may not make it. Yeah, boy. Mm. Oh, that's like a Florida-style house up there. Look at that. That looks like a Lehigh house. Yeah. They paved their driveway, too. Yeah.
only imagine if you're working on your house here. Oh my goodness. It'll work? Maybe. Let me see. Maybe. dictionary of everything you're not allowed to say to have a monetized video like you picked up a list of what words are not allowed to be said on a oh, this is so creepy what words are you not allowed to say on a monetized video and you just like randomly every time i pick up a, a video you just like pick one of the words off the list you're like choking out i'm serious like you find the most obsolete words that you're not allowed to say on youtube off a list and say Here's one. Check it. I, I, I mean it. Like, did you purposely try to like ruin my YouTube channel? No. What are you trying to do? It's like, it's like on every video you pick one word that you are definitely not allowed to have on YouTube and spit it out. Do not underestimate my ability to be a medical. If not, you can upload them individually. There's two 30 minute clips, right? Yeah. Don't worry, I'm, I'm gonna do it on the computer so we can have it. Because here's the other problem. Anything iPhone crashes the computer programs. So we may not be able to edit it on the computer. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it, we'll figure out when we get home. Are there any shorter clips we can upload? Are we having yet? Love the country out here. This is like real country out here. I'm surprised our iPhones have lasted so long. Doesn't that amaze you as well? Yeah.
somebody hit a deer there. That must have been scary. See what river this is? Wow. That is impressive. Could it be the Cahaba? Police jurisdiction, we're in a town now. Um, Big B? Big what? Tom Big Big River. Tom Big B River. Huh, never heard of it. What time are we in now? Coffeeville. Awesome. Coffeeville. Coffeeville uh Bayon. Oh, I love the front porches. Love the front porches on these buildings. Man, these old towns are so cool. This is what I always wanted, just to be able to drive through country towns. Um, take another look at the map and make sure we're, our GPS is still working and we're still... It's on that oh, phone. On this phone? Yeah. Okay. I can put it in... Just, yeah, verify where we're at. You just kind of have an idea where... We don't want to drive aimlessly for Jackson. Continue on US 84 East for 17 miles. 17 more miles. Cool. This route avoids road closures at 74 miles due to construction. Evergreen is 80, 75 miles. Whew. Man, we are really in the middle of nowhere. Nice little hill. Up in the, oh, you can catch yourself going 100 miles an hour on these walls. Car just speeds up by, it's, it's 45 around here? Wow. This will make an awesome speed trap. When you think about it, your car by itself tries to go 100, just down, he says. And there's a school here. Oh, that's not help. Perfect speed trap. Sky. Any of schools are.
you'll notice about Mississippi, mm -hmm. not a single rebel flag. Mm -hmm. Did we see a single one? I think we saw one on a pickup truck, right? Yeah. But it wasn't like on, on a, an actual flag post. Yeah. In Mississippi, we didn't see a single one. No, mm -hmm. Val, where are you going? Every mile. South Alabama, we saw one, and it was a one. And it was like a very historical context. It was like on site, you know. Yeah. I think the area we are in Alabama is is kind of backward, primitive, Katie. Primitive. Man, you just love demonetizing my videos, don't you? Primitive. What have I done to you? It's like you have a dictionary of things you're not supposed to say on YouTube right there in front of you. It's like, let me just throw one out of the book here. Get smart with me. Ah. No, conmigo no. Okay. Conmigo, oye, tranquilízate. Tú estás un poquito. You need to relax because you're out of, You're talking to me. Wow. Look at all this chunk. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Oh my god. Dang. That is a lot of junk. And that's what our yard's gonna look like if we keep finding stuff. Please don't make it look like that, husband. <laughs> that is a lot of junk. <sighs> With your help, all your can look like that, Katie. Please, no. <laughs> Anyways, I want you to apologize because I don't like the way you were speaking. You were violent, aggressive. I was just minding my own business driving and out of nowhere, you start yelling at me. Okay, I'm getting dizzy. Are you dizzy? Ooh, I'm starting to feel it. It's like I'm on like... You can really feel a G-force coming up around these hills. I don't know if it helps I'm going 90 miles an hour, but... I just want to get it done with. I have to 
on this thing. This is horrible. Totally featureless on here. Get deer on the road, you're gonna have a ton of flinch. Oh, you can feel a G force. Man, this is horrible. Oh, crap. It's like being on a roller coaster. There it goes. Oh. oh man. Please tell me we're coming to the end of this. Man. About two and a half hours. We've got seven miles on this road. Are we on the highway yet? Seven miles on this road. Gosh. No, we are not on 65. This is oh, we're going to be on 43. I'm going to have to stop for like 20 minutes. This is unbearable. The G-force coming up and down those hills. It's like, oh, we got more. There's more to it than that. Here we go. Hold on tight. These are bad ones. Wow. It's like flying an airplane or something. Right? It's just like... This is like being on an airplane that's going through some turbulence. Turbulence. Slow down for this hill. You can't see what's on the other side. Wow. That's bad. I'm not sure how driving slow would make it better. Would it? It would just prolong the process, right? You'll feel more G-force when you're going this fast, though. Slow down. Here's a truck. I'm up with the cop right now. Here's a truck. Car coming. Yeah, I don't think I could do this in commuter right here. This would drive me crazy. Can you imagine this if this is a like commuter day? Yeah. Slow down a little bit. You can't see what's on the inside of these curbs. Oh, something on the road, something on the road, something on the road, what is it? I don't know what it is, but it got hammered by some other car. It was pretty big. Yeah, it stinks too. It's been there for a while.
this is pretty. Nice and weird to the side here. region of Alabama was this hilly. Yeah. I thought it was flat down here. Man, maybe we should have took the highway instead of this. Next time we'll take the highway. This is way too much. Yeah. On the way back, it's better to take the highway. Yeah, it sure is, man. I have no idea what we're getting into when we took this country roads. Yeah. Imagine getting a flat tire out here. Mm -hmm. You're better off just paying the tow truck to take you home. You know what I mean? Yeah. You get a flat tire out here, you're better off just paying the tow truck to take you home. Forget about trying to fix it here. You're better off just saying, you know what, take me home. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Cobb Street. Turn left onto Cobb Street. Continue on Cobb Street for two miles. Okay, I thought we were in a very isolated place before. Now we're on Cobb Street. <laughs> I thought we were in trouble before we got on Cobb Street. Now I'm like, yeah. This is the absolute middle of nowhere. city. Those are apartments. Yeah, we're in 
Christmas city. What's it called? What's it? Grout? What's it happening? Grove. Almost Grove Hill. Grove Hill. In a quarter mile, turn left onto US 43 North. Well, there it is a drive through the absolute middle of nowhere in Alabama and Mississippi. I hope you guys like this video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. What's wrong? Okay. Turn left onto US 43 North.